So there are two ways to transfer data from your Xbox One to your Series X or S. The first one we're gonna do here is network transfer. So on both consoles, you need to make sure that you go into settings, then you go to system, then you go to backup and transfer, and make sure you have allow network transfer turned on. Make sure that checkbox is turned on. And both consoles need to be on the same exact network internally for this to work. But once you have that checked off and you'll see your console right there, I'm gonna click on Xbox One here. And when you do that, you're gonna see all the games and apps that are transferable. Anything that isn't transferable won't show up in here. Some games need, may need to be insta reinstalled manually, but everything you see here can transfer over to the new console. Now settings and such is a little bit different. We'll get up into that in just a second, but basically go through here, select what you want. I'm gonna be selecting everything here. Go ahead and click copy everything over. You'll get another prompt here, letting you know how much storage space is gonna take over when you're copying things over and go ahead and hit copy. And it's gonna go through the process here. You'll see the queue pop up. And this is gonna take a while to do network transferring here. I would suggest if you have a lot of data to transfer over to do this overnight, because it's gonna take a bit of time and you're not gonna be able to do anything with your console because if you start the game, it's gonna pause the queue. It's not gonna transfer over thing, anything while it's doing that. So the first thing I would suggest to do is do this overnight and let this transfer kind of push through. Now, once the transfer is complete, head over to my games and apps. You'll see all your games transferred over, all your apps transferred over and pulled over from your old console onto the Series X or the Series S into the internal storage. Now, what's pretty cool is any game that is an update because of smart delivery that has a Series X graphic, a Series S graphics with it, it will go ahead and upgrade that game automatically. And you can see they're doing that for Gears 5 right here. It's giving me the Series X version of that automatically since it can detect that. And the smart delivery feature is working to transfer me the better version of that game. Now, that's one way to transfer things, but you can also use external storage if you have it available too. This works with after transfer to create some space or even before doing this. So when you use an external storage, you just wanna use a standard USB 3.0 storage. I'll have some suggestions below on what to use here with this, but you wanna go ahead and plug it in and let it format to be able to be used on your Xbox here. And once that's formatted and ready to go, you wanna make sure you go back to the same backup and transfer section within the settings. And within there, you wanna back up your settings by going to the top where it says back up my settings. This is gonna back up key system settings and features specific to your profile. This doesn't transfer over via the network transfer, and this can only be backed up basically using USB storage. So go ahead and hit backup on that, and it'll back up the storage right onto there. And now if you wanna transfer your games over, you can go down to where it says hard drive transfer. And when you go within that section, you can do this on the Xbox One or in the Series X if you need to create some space here and go over to either move or copy when you've selected all the games you wanna move over or copy over. And when you do that, it's gonna take about the same amount of time as that we transfer depending upon how much uh, you're transferring over and also how fast the drive is. I got some recommendations of some SSD and HTC drives you can, external drives you can use for this right below in the description. And when you transfer that stuff over, you can actually now play your games right off of that drive. And what's pretty cool here is if you're copying off an Xbox One and then you plug it into a Series XRS, you're gonna be able to play right off of it or recognize it immediately and you're not gonna have to do anything else. You're gonna start playing the games right away. So that's another great way to transfer your content over here from your old Xbox to a new Xbox, in this particular case here with the Series X.